You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host, and I have a return guest, a familiar face. I have Steve Murphy from Massasoit Community College. Steve, good Hi, to Mark. see you. Good to see you. Good to be uh, here. We are finally almost at the date for the 50th anniversary gala for Massasoit Community College. That's right. Uh, October 22nd, the gala is scheduled at our conference center uh, from 6 to 11. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a number of people coming. We have a number of great sponsors that have loved the school through the years. We've got some students that have uh, written essays, mm -hmm. and we've got some students that are going to be honored uh, for their performances uh, at the school, and we're very excited about the whole our gala. 50 years, long time. 50 years. Well, I just turned 55, so it's, huh. uh, it, it, you know, I, I, I haven't taught there that long, only 23 years. <laughs> but we transform lives at Massasoit Community College. It, it's, a, it's a great school. We have expanded now. We're down in Middleborough. We're down in Marshfield. New vet tech program. You must have a fun job. It is. Uh, having practiced law for many years, this is a second career for me, and I'm enjoying it with all the things that are, that are happening at Massasoit now with the... Uh, with the, 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 new, the, the existing campuses in Brockton, Canton, and Middleborough, and the new, new location in Plymouth, the even newer location in Marshfield, and a, and a terrific vet tech program that has started over in Canton, mm -hmm. uh, training for vet techs, and uh, it's, it's great to be associated with the school. The, the, uh, the administrators, the staff, the faculty, uh, the foundation, and it's most important, the students are just terrific. I taught too, as you know, and, and to be in a classroom with these students is an experience and a, and a fortunate experience for me. Keeps you young. Tuesday, Thursday morning when I <laughs> teach, I got an 8 o'clock class. So those kids that choose to get up at 8 o'clock in the morning and take a speech class, I think they're brave. Okay? That, absolutely. I really do because I wasn't that much of a go-getter at 8 o'clock in the morning, to be perfectly <laughs> honest with you. So this is called Portraits of Success. That's right. Um, I know we're a successful school, but you have a big committee that's worked on this. It's from all cross-sections of the college, working with your office and the president's office, Dr. Wall and everything. Has it been fun to plan it? It's a lot of fun to plan it, and uh, fortunately, everybody works together, mm -hmm. works very closely together. And as you get closer to the event, obviously, you're, you're more excited about it. Uh, the most important thing about the event, though, even if it, as it is our 50th anniversary, all the money that's raised goes to our United Student Fund. And that, that particular fund uh, allows for monies to go to students who need insurance. And insurance is ma mandated by the Commonwealth, number one. It allows monies to go for textbooks. Mm -hmm. And it allows monies to go for emergency needs. Uh, there are a lot of students at Massasoit uh, who have come back from serving their country, who've just left Brockton High School or other high schools, who've been away for a while and are starting up their college career with maybe a husband or a wife that w stays at home mm -hmm. while they go to school with four children at home. And uh, it's an extraordinary place to work because the student population is so diverse and it's so excited about gaining an education. And that what we try to do, as I said, with the galas each year, and especially the 50th anniversary gala, is to provide those monies mm -hmm. that are needed to help our students. Well, I talk to students all the time, and just the cost of textbooks. I mean, mm -hmm. teaching a speech class, luckily there's a lot of speech resources available on the internet, so most of us that do that class don't really require a textbook because you can't really get a low-cost textbook anymore. It's Not nothing anymore. to do, the school doesn't determine the price, it's the booksellers, okay? And with the new technology and everything, you would think it would be easier with online stuff, it actually costs more money. So I, I try to work around the book. I, I do from the School of Life experience and help them get the other stuff, but you know, they do have a tough time. Some of them are working two and three jobs. I have CNAs in my class. Mm. I have people that really work to help and take care of other people. And the last thing they're worried about is taking care of themselves, but the education is a ticket to a better life. That's right, and, qu and quite often, if you look at all the community colleges in the state, and especially Massasoit, with all the students that are attending, 
most of those students that do attend community college remain in the state. So right. they become citizens, they are citizens, but they can become productive citizens of the Commonwealth uh, that assist in corporate America, that assist in uh, political areas, that assist in uh, state jobs. They're working and making Massachusetts. And so with that, it's so important that funding be provided to community colleges through our wonderful donors. And I mean, we have some wonderful donors. Can always use more. But we have some wonderful donors, and it, it's exciting to, to, to be with them when they get excited about helping their students. I don't want to put you on the spot, and I don't want to forget anybody, but there's got to be some really big sponsors. If you want to give them any okay. kind of credit, feel free. I will tell you that Dick and Edith Fry. Uh, Dick is from Braytree. He's a, a, a uh, past chairman of the Board of Trustees. He's a past medallion recipient, honorary degree recipient, and he is our gold sponsor at $10,000. Uh, I say to Dick, I say, the good thing about you, Dick, is you were a trustee, chairman of the Board of Trustees, you received a medallion, an honorary degree, but the most important thing is you're on the phone every day with me because that's how much you care, Dick Fry, about Massasoit Community College. And uh, we have other people. We have Clean Harbors as a big supporter, Harbor One, Crescent Credit Union, Jack Conway, uh, we have so many companies that have sponsored and continue to sponsor. We're, we're always looking for new people and new companies to come in and see how this college really works, to see these students walking around the campus, to see them in a classroom. You're all welcome. I'll take you to the classroom. There you and go. you'll take them to the and, classroom. And you bring them to culinary arts where the kids oh, do yeah. wonderful, wonderful work and just, just every place. The best part, I think, of the event is the student success stories, people that... Um, got help, needed help, want to tell their story and share their story. And the other thing is, oh, there's a little competition that's going on between all these departments to put these baskets together. You mm. go in the front of that Massasoit Conference Center, that big long hallway that runs the whole length mm. of the place, and there is something for everybody, literally. You can do your Christmas shopping that's there. Right. You can do your, your holiday shop. Whatever you're doing, you can just get a present for someone for their birthday. You, there's lottery ticket trees. You name it, it's there. That's right. We have, we have the, the, the gift baskets. We have an auction. We have a raffle. Uh, we have a wonderful... Uh, jazz orchestra this year, for, and there's going to be more dancing than usual. Uh, I think everybody that comes is going to have a great time, and people really look forward to this. And, uh, a few tickets left? There are, there are plenty of tickets okay, left. Okay, so where do they call? How do they get the info real quick? We well, got a minute it, left. well, the best way to do it is to contact myself, Steve Murphy, or Marilyn Burke yeah. at 588-9100, mm -hmm. extension 2602, or extension 2603. That's, mm -hmm. that's our office. And I can assure you, we'll find you a seat and you'll have a nice evening. And it's not a late evening, you get 6 o'clock to 11, so you're home and, and uh, you'll have had a nice time and, and, and shared a great experience with the other people with you in seeing some of our students and what they've done. Yes, it's portraits of success. The success of the college, yes, but the success of our students and, and what they've accomplished from 1960s when, till now. And they've accomplished a lot. We're very proud of them. Yes, we are. Thanks, thanks, Mark. Thanks for being on okay. here. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.